Now, guess what? On this bond behind me are seven signs of a completely failed man as far as the finances are concerned. You know why? There are some people whom you can look at them and like this and there are men you be like, you know what? This person is failed completely. Some of them you can be able to see, to look at them and tell. And some of them you cannot really tell. And this is exactly the sign to look upon. You are lucky if you're watching this video before getting married because you can scrutinize them. Ladies, this is your video. Also, men, you can be able to learn something here and adjust yourself. And again, if you're married, you already have the person individual. It's still learnable. You can be able to talk to them and be able to have the conversation. That is it. And by the way, I dare promise me, I'm going to give you value for the next 15 minutes on this video. And dare promise me again that you're going to subscribe to my YouTube channel because this kind of the videos that I upload each and every day. So you subscribing, it means that you'll never miss any video. You'll be notified whenever I upload a new good video. Make sure that you like the video, comment on the comment section. Let's get into the business now. Here we are. Now, the very first sign of a failed man in completely as far as the finances are concerned is a man who cannot make a decision as far as to buy, purchase something. That influence is usually taken from the family members. Have you ever met a man who is usually be like, you know what, I have to contact my mom before I purchase this specific thing. I have to contact this because you know what, my mom said this is not a good investment. You know what, my mom, my mom, my mom, that kind of a conversation. That's a failed man financially. He can't be successful. When I say successful, I mean like he can secure a very nice, good job. But the guy cannot even buy a car before consulting the mother. The guy cannot even buy a piece of property. The guy cannot even invest in a tree bills and tea bones. The mother or the parents control the guy. By the way, when I say madam, I don't mean the mother alone. I mean the father. Control the guy completely. Guy cannot even turn around. That is a red flag. That is a failed man. The failed in the sense of the, in the world of the finances. Unless, unless, unless. Let's say the guy comes from a successful family. The dad is quite successful. He's okay. He knows everything. The mom knows everything in terms of the finance and what have you. If the guy is borrowing ideas from the parents, there is nothing wrong with that. When I say, I don't mean like you shouldn't listen to them. If they have something that they can share, maybe they are good at entrepreneur, that they can borrow something, there is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with them giving you the advice. But when I'm drawing the line is when they completely control you, you cannot do this, you cannot do the other, even when you are actually, by the way, I had a couple that we had a session and the couple was like, they cannot even, you know, uh, what do you call it, migrate from one location to the other without informing the parents. And the guy they're earning their own money. It's not even the parents that are paying the house rent and what have you. But they cannot even make a decision. That is a crisis. That is a problem. And what you're supposed to do is that try to learn some books of management, taking control, being on yourself, working on your self-esteem, because that is usually the self-esteem that has been actually affected and tormented. So if you work on the self-esteem, that you can be able to propagate yourself to the next level. That way you can be able to know, you know what, I need to adjust myself on this area. I need to cease doing this because if I continue this way, because, you know, you're supposed to make a decision maker. In an African setup, and I'm saying in an African setup, I'm talking about something that I'm aware of. In an African setup, man should lead, man should show the way, but does not mean the lady does not have an idea. There's nothing wrong with you getting an idea from her and such kind of a thing. For God's sake, she's an adult. She has something that she can think about. You know, that is what you're supposed to read. But if you're taking everything from the family members, I'm telling you that is a crisis in making when you take the financial decision from your family members and that marks the point number one point number two if you want to know somebody who has a problem and is a man and he cannot be able to do something is somebody who cannot be able to take a challenge he avoids challenge being challenged by successful men you find somebody has achieved more than he has have you find somebody with a car maybe car is worth a million shilling you find somebody with a car worth seven million and you tell them wow that's a nice car and he gives you all the excuses that's not even a good car you know that good car you actually consume a lot of fuel you cannot even think about hmm wow indeed it's true that's a, that's a nice car i mean that car is worth seven million and i'm telling you that car is a gas but there's no problem if i have the investments they have all money in order Hmm, that's, a, that's a yeah congratulations to that guy that, that, that's achieved a lot that, that's amazing you know i've built myself a, a house worth two million a guy has a 30 million one hmm, amazing i would love to know that the guy who takes challenge positively but you have somebody who you give them a challenge they always have a but but ladies uh, kindly be very careful when you tell your mom about somebody who has achieved more be very careful men's ego never love to be strapped I would I will never advise you to tell them that you know somebody who have built a if your man has built a house worth five million, please, please, please appreciate him as much as you can. Please try as much as you can, rub the ego of that guy. Because if he does that, he leaves the tail and gonna give the best life. But if you show him and bring him down all, all the time, I'm telling you, you're gonna have a very rough life. So what you do is that 
um, I'm, I'm talking about when men and men are talking, you know, because uh, when you get a challenge, you know, when somebody, for example, let's say I meet somebody who talks about finances and has a, like the minority mindset. The guy has over one point something billion followers on his YouTube channel. So you're like, I, I, I cannot feel like, uh, you, no, I'd be like, hmm, if the guy start to talk, I will listen. He has achieved more than I have as far as the YouTube channel is concerned and all those kind of, so sometimes those challenges are the ones that helps you to grow yourself and propagate, give you their of the thrust so that you can be able to push yourself to the next level so if you have somebody who has that problem with appreciating and accepting challenge probably that is within the self-esteem but be very 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 careful do not just touch that guy because that's a timing bomb if you dare touch that guy he can burst off out there so know how you cannot be able to appreciate that guy on whatever he has achieved and also show them that you can be able to do great we can be able to achieve this when you can be able to move to the next level right the other thing that is actually a sign that this guy is actually failed completely as far as the investments are concerned there is something called you know investment is not in his vocabulary he does not talk the language of investment he doesn't he talks the language of where can we go the vacation next. He talks the language about, hey, you know what? We spend the entire night, you know, having fun and what have you. We watch football the entire night. We were shooting pool the entire day. You know, we went home early in the morning. So if you hear somebody speaking those kind of language every time, the guy will never even tell you, hey, you know what? Oh, wow. BlackRock has actually invested in Kenya. You know what? Wow. I started coming at us. You know what? Wow. The S&P 500 are doing great things. You know what? But you, the guy is not even aware of what the financial world is doing. You know what? So it is good to make sure that at least you incorporate, you talk with people, eat, try to listen to them. Do they, do they talk about having fun, buying shoes, buying this, buying... Yo, I mean, do they even talk about something is happening there? You know, what is financial bill? What does it entail? Do they even read about it? Do they have substantive information? Do they even tell you, hey, you know what? I know one thing that you can be able to buy this and be able to do this. We can. Does he speak the language of investment? If the language of investment is does no longer exist in his vocabulary, I'm telling you, you are dealing with something else. Be very keen and cautious because you can actually get that thing. It's a bit contagious if you ask me. So be very keen and cautious. Otherwise, you can get yourself into problems, all right? Let's go to the point number four. The point number four, the man cannot keep his secret. Men are known to keep secret. And you know what? I always tell you one thing, guys. If you cannot keep secret, you can't keep money. I, I don't want to stress much on this because I made a whole video about this video, about this topic. You can go check it out there. And I said, if you cannot keep a secret, you cannot keep money. So you ought to have the ability to keep a secret. So if you have somebody who is so much, you know, talks a lot, you know, and when you, you, by the way, you know, the Bible says that when you talk a lot, you can even talk about, you know, you can even give what we call the TMI, the too much information. Try, talk when necessary. Talk when you know, hey, you know what, this talk of mine will actually solve this and that. But when you just open your mouth and talk at any given moment, then they are getting yourself into lots of problems. So if you find somebody, you share a very small little secret to you, maybe you had some you know, some difference in home or maybe you have some things about your family and what have you, you share with that guy and then that guy, you know, the next minute that information is all with everybody in that specific, um, you know, working room or that company and what have you. Then it tells you that you're dealing with somebody different. So it tells you with somebody and that is actually reflective of how their finances look like. See, money and wealth is actually enshrined with secrecy. And you have to understand those two nitty gritties. Otherwise, if you get it wrong, you're going to have a very rough time. So it is good to understand that if you cannot keep a secret, then you cannot keep money. That's for sure. So if you're dealing with an individual who's having that, then hmm, you know now what to do. Now, the other thing, the guy actually achieved or has achieved nothing by himself. Say you are dating and you have this guy. This guy... Uh, well, of course, he doesn't have much of the responsibilities. It's only his rent, the food, the clothing, and what have you. But the guy, if you look at them, obviously, you cannot ask, hey, what have you bought? What have you achieved? What have you invested on? Because if you ask that as a lady, then it would appear as if you're money-oriented. But sometimes you can package that question in a way that it appears as if it's... You can even start with yours. You know what? I actually, I was watching somebody by the name of Joseph, and I bought some shares. I bought some money market fund. They're giving me returns. And uh, how about you? Uh, you know, that way, you've actually started by revealing who you are so that you can test who you are dealing with and what they have achieved they tell you ah that cannot work i don't do that okay fine it cannot work then what is your option uh, i'll just know about you see it's good when you say that can't work that's not okay that's not 
but I have the option B. So when you have alternatives and option B, that makes sense. But you don't pick this one that you're being told. You also don't have your own option. You're just there. Then it means that you have a problem. And therefore, if this individual has achieved nothing by themselves, what makes you think that they're going to achieve you something by you or with you? If, if, okay, fine. Let, 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 me, let, me, let, me, let me frame it this way. And I'm going to combine that point with the last one about they don't have a, a plan or they do not have absence of a plan or a budget. Let's say the guy is unable to plan for his 100,000 that he's earning when he's single. Let's talk about big numbers because that's where we're heading. Okay? Let's say the guy is earning 100,000. He's unable to plan that money by himself. He's just, alone. he's just alone. Why? Because of the parties and what have you. Now, what makes you think that if you come on board, now you have you now and maybe kids and what have you, what makes you think that the guy will be able to manage to that much cash? You're only getting to it with a hope. And there is nothing wrong with hope. But guess what? Hope is a nice breakfast, but it's a poor dinner. Never start with hope and end with hope. You know, it's good to make sure that you scrutinize everything. So the moment you get somebody who does not have any plan, does not have an existing budget, he plans nothing, he cannot even tell you no, he does, he has a he's incapable of telling you no because an upright person, you know, you know, by the did you know that no is a complete sentence? Just telling somebody no. Done. Everything is actually filled. You have actually said everything. So the point is, he cannot or he hasn't achieved anything by himself. Or he does not. What I'm saying, he hasn't achieved. I don't mean like you look for those guys who are wealthy. No. But there's nothing wrong if you get one, you know. But now what I'm telling you is that you, you can actually look at this individual. He has achieved this. This is what he's doing. This is his mission. This is where he's heading. He has a working budget. He's planning to do this. Therefore, getting to that person's life, it gives you a hope and a belief we are heading on the right direction. That is exactly what we do so we can be able to progress to the next level. Let's go to the last point. He has no plan or any plan as of now as far as the investment is not. He has no investment as we speak and he doesn't have any plan to invest on the same. Therefore, that is a very big red flag. Somebody does not speak the language of investment. He argues from the point of Nyang, oh, why should I invest as of now? I'm supposed to have fun. You know, these things, I never grew up with them. So the guy is bitter about life. He's suffering from the traumas and what have you. So it is good to understand this individual needs some coaching, needs some, some sort of, you know, refurbishment, you no know, polishing and what have you. It might not be you who is telling them, but at least they need to do something for the sake of their growth. Guess what? Those are just but seven signs that to tell you this is a man who has failed completely as far as the investments are concerned. Does it mean this is the only point? No. We have a lot of points that to tell you out there. People who misuse their money, throwing parties, somebody who has more than 10 friends. That's a failed person because what are you doing even with 10 friends? I mean, surely 10 friends. You know, and I made a video and I told you guys, if you're about 30 years old and you have five friends, you have a problem. You should even have one at most or two. If it goes extreme, I don't know what you're doing with the two on a very serious note. By the way, did you know that the way we grow older, the more, the less circles we have, the less circles of the friends that we have and such kind of a thing. So you'd rather encircle yourself with very valuable individuals in that circle can help you to move yourself to the next level rather than amass yourself with hundreds of people or tens of people that cannot even help you or take you anywhere. That was a reality. So guess what, guys? Yes, you might have actually identified some of the weaknesses in your man or maybe you as an individual if you're a man watching this video. Does it mean now you are doomed if you have any of those needs? No, no, no. You can adjust yourself. If you have a problem with budgeting, get yourself a working budget. If you have a problem with keeping a secret, learn to keep a secret. If you have a problem if you do not have any plan to invest, have it now and start investing. The first one, do something. Show a value for yourself. If you actually do not avoid, uh, usually avoid challenge or being challenged, appreciate the challenge. Okay, the other thing, if you are not, if you are being controlled remotely by your parents as far as the finances are concerned, go organize a conversation with them. Sit them down and tell them, you know what, guys, for God's sake, I'm 30 years old and I'm going to be making decisions by myself. But I'm not telling you you should never share an idea with me. You can share an idea with me, but let me just do something. Let me have something that I can call mine that I actually generated by myself. Having that kind of a conversation earns you a respect. And that way, you can be able to earn something as far as the living is concerned. That's good, just as speaking. Never forget one thing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, and comment on the comment section. For nice and goodbye. Never forget one thing. Grab that thumb of mine from the description of this specific video if you'd like to have my conversation of my guidance as far as the investments are concerned. See you there.